Welcome back to MakeMeAssignments.com. In the previous video, we discussed the law of demand and how the change in price of a good or service impacts its quantity demanded in the market, while all other factors are kept constant. In this video, we will discuss the relationship between the price of related goods and services and the quantity demanded of a good or service when the price of the good or service is kept constant. Related goods can be of two types, substitute goods and complementary goods. What are substitute goods? Substitute goods are the different goods that, at least partly, satisfy the same needs of the consumers and, therefore, can be used to replace one another. For example, tea and coffee, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. The price of substitute goods show a positive cross-elasticity of demand. That means, when the price of one good goes up, the quantity demanded of the other rises, and when the price of one good goes down, the quantity demanded of the other falls. Now let's discuss complementary goods. Complementary goods are those goods whose use is interrelated with the use of an associated or paired good, such that a demand for one, generates demand for the other. For example, printers and ink cartridges. Complementary goods are inversely related to each other. It means that when the price of one good falls and increases its demand, the quantity demanded of the complementary good also increases. Similarly, when the price of one good rises and reduces its demand, it may reduce the demand for the complementary good as well. Now we will understand the effect of change in the price of related goods on the demand curve of a good. In case of substitute goods, an increase in the price of the substitute good will lead to a shift of the demand curve to the right. On the other hand, in case of complementary goods, an increase in the price of the complementary good will lead to a shift of the demand curve to the left. Note. Such changes in the quantity demanded of a product occur when there is a change in the prices of the related goods, that is substitute and complementary goods, while the prices of the good itself are kept constant. Today we discussed the impact of change in prices of related products upon the quantity demanded of a product. Thank you for watching MakeMyAssignments.com